Hello everyone, welcome to Peeves TV, and welcome to the Lunaport Islands. This is my first, like, real playthrough on this game. Uh, had a couple hours here and there just playing around, but really just looking to kind of have a world that I can keep coming back to. Chose the islands map just because, I don't know, looks like it'd be fun to build some bridges between these two. Looks like there's a lot of forests, there's a mountain here, I know there's a lot of industry stuff. It's a mystery building over there. Looks like it's attached to like a train track or something. I don't know. Looking to oh, there's cruise ships over there. Yeah, just looking to kind of learn this game and play around and thought it'd be fun to make a little series on it. So to start off, uh, I'm just going to connect these two real quick just so we can get all of our other road options available. Um, starting off, I usually like to do some sort of uh, like a roundabout. Maybe I have to do bigger road here. Nope. And maybe we'll just do like a straight road. So we'll do one in the middle here. It's not snapping. Let me go to my snap options here and maybe take it off the grid. Just do. There we go. That should be enough. So we'll do that just so we can connect these two to the road. We'll clear this middle one. And then that way, we've got a perfect spot to go right down the middle. So that's a, a nice entryway into the city here. So now, turn that back on here so we have all of it. Got some uh, residential needs here. I think I'm going to extend this out a little bit longer. Maybe another... There, yeah, that should be good. I don't want to eat into too much of my budget to start off, but... Uh, eventually, kind of want there to be like waterfront property over here. I think that would look cool. Should probably look at the water flow first. Open that. Okay, so it's flowing down this way. And then it looks like it splits here. So I'm thinking I'll probably want my pumps. Hmm, maybe even right here, just since that'll be closer to my city. And then I'll have my sewage like empty out that way downstream we'll start with that I'll connect that up once I have my roads ready to go but I want to get this taken out of to taken care of here first we'll connect power and everything to it eventually okay so we got that started I do want to I usually start off with dirt roads and then just upgrade them later it's a little cheaper right off the bat uh, so for residential, we'll start just right here at the end. Yeah, right here at the end. So do 300 in, 200 back. And that way I get like a, a nice cell here. I'm going to do that a couple times. Just get a little grid system going for right now. Perfect. So we'll do, usually do my, oh, gotta switch over to this here. Do some commercial right in the middle. I think that's like the best option for that. And then zone the rest as residential. So we're gonna push play. Get all that going here now. While that's working, get all the pipeline and everything set up. Right under the roads here. Do that. It's not the prettiest, but it'll do. Connect another pipe down here. And then for power, I think for now, I'm going to want to start with windmill power. Now, so I get seven, I get eight here. Okay, perfect. Keep that kind of away from the city for now. eight here it's so another eight from there connect that to here get another branch from here all the way to here that links those up and then for now do the outskirts and these should hopefully zone fill in that need 
That way it's at least connected. We can always disconnect it once it all connects here. So I'll switch back to slow just to get started. I always like to do that just to get everything kind of in place. Industrial starting to come up here. I do want to, I can't look at my resources quite yet. That's fine. I am newer to this, so I don't know when that becomes available, but oh, perfect. So we can get this now, we can get rid of that. That should connect everything here any second. Looks like that's still connected, perfect. So while that's building, I'm gonna look at zoning some industrial. I'm thinking since all of my, let's see, I got forests on both sides. I'm sure there's some kind of foresting industry that I can work with on either side. I'm thinking since this side's gonna be polluting, maybe I'll just do it on this side anyway. So out another 300, go in another two. I think it's technically 10 or 100 per five tiles or something. I don't know what the thing is, but. <laughs> uh, 200, ooh, that's gonna get rid of that rock. Maybe we'll save that rock for something. Eh, I guess we have another one over here. Screw it. That way we can go in and zone a little more commercial here. It's all residential. So my industrial, I think I'm gonna have back this way. So 200, boom, boom, boom. We'll just do the industrial over this way have on this back half do my like landfills and everything right there once I get to it so industrial I'm gonna zone back here perfect that should be good for now I think I might do one more cell right there and then maybe dezone this let them put in a coffee shop or something right there over in the corner Speed this up to two now, getting a little more comfortable. So, get all of our pipes lined up underneath the roads where they should be. I am horrible with that today. Oh no, that lined up. Get this one. I think that one's a little off center. That's all right. We'll get there. And then power isn't linking quite yet so maybe we can just take a branch off from here just connect that for now electricity availability is looking good for now i always like to check that so industrial needs are being met might have to do another two cells or so that's gonna get rid of that rock so, all right we'll find a rock to save Keep some of nature intact while we're building all these factories. <laughs> okay, perfect. So that's looking good so far. Let's check. Power's looking good. Water's looking good. Kind of just let everything play out here. Let our budget build up a little bit. I think early on, speaking of budget, drop this a little bit to like 75% for both. So we start growing. Get some more money out of that. Let it sit for a minute. Do have enough zoning that should cover all these needs here. And now that that's all connecting, we can save on some budget here. Get rid of these two lines. That should all connect together. That's nice. And it's looking like more industrial. Or more uh, residential, sorry, is coming in. So we are going to keep the dirt roads going. Just get two more little sections here. Maybe we'll get three. Then we'll do like a little bit of buffer commercial here. 
I like to have my commercial on my main roads, but I also like to have little pockets here and there. Maybe I'll do this. And maybe we can put like a school or something else, some kind of monument or park over here. I really want to look into the uh, farming and everything too. That's going to be cool. Because I'm pretty sure like right in here should be like good farmland and then forestry. Maybe eventually once I have the parks DLC, I can build like a campground and all that. I think that'd be cool. All right, there we go. So we are Little Hamlet. We can do taxes and loans. Garbage, healthcare, and education become kind of a priority now. So we built up some decent budget. Like I said earlier, I like to have my landfills like back here. Oh, it's out of city limits, just barely. Okay, so we, I think it's because this main road is slightly off center, but that's gonna be an issue at some point. That's okay, doesn't have to be a perfect grid, but for now, we're just gonna do this. It's gonna make them sad, that's okay. Because, that's gonna kinda get in their way of traffic. That's all right. It's probably not the best design, but you know, It'll be all right. They'll get over it. Medical care. We'll fill that in. I don't like to do that on the main roads either. Like the, with the, the driving anyway. So maybe we can do that to cover that need. And then we'll do an elementary school. Maybe right here. That way we've got all of our needs covered. Cooper Way. That's where our elementary school is, right next to the factories, which is all right. Look, oh, there's a little pennies. Oh, that's awesome. Just like a Denny's, but for copyright reasons, I'm sure couldn't name it that. Oh, we got two. We got two of them on the same block. That's amazing. Two 24-hour places to eat. Most of them are 24 hours anyway. Ooh, what do we got here? It's just a barbecue. Is it supposed to be like an A&W? <laughs> barbecue, food, and drink on Walker Avenue. I am going to rename my main road. We're going to make that a priority road. I do have to look at that too. Uh, so main avenue. And we're going to open the traffic menu. Go to our junctions. We're just going to turn all of these into just a free... No stoplights. Glad that's not... Oh, we should probably... Since those are coming into the city, no stop signs. Perfect. So that's all good there. And then won't need any of that quite yet. So we'll close that menu. Uh, so we do have some residential coming in. Maybe we'll just extend out here. I don't like doing a, a full grid since this is like the very beginning. I don't mind it, but eventually I will do some more intricate designs. But just for now, while we're just getting started, getting comfortable with everything. All right. Water is good. Electric's good. Not too shabby. Uh, electric, we actually might want to add... Another. Perfect. So that should update here any second. 24. Perfect. So we're good there now. Eventually, I'll probably put like a, a coal plant in there, but not worried about it right this second. Residential still kind of a need. We'll just let that sit, build out. Maybe I'll do one more little grid cell here. Let that go. Just got to make sure. Healthcare covered. Garbage covered. Education. We could probably use another school right. Maybe right here. Just while we have the money right now. Couldn't hurt. 
it's not really a need but i know it will be eventually i always run into that issue where i don't have enough educated workers and i don't have enough to like satisfy it at that time so i'm getting ahead of that it's just a personal thing that i run into <laughs> um all right let's extend this out a little bit because i know it's coming oh yeah you didn't like that we're getting an upgrade here pretty soon i'm pretty sure we get the next milestone at 700 so let's just kind of preemptively get in and see what are you complaining about here not enough workers yep we're working on that <laughs> we're getting some uh stuff zoned out to cover that need for you switch back to dirt roads okay we're running out of money but that is all right we're making a ton right now we'll zone a little more residential right down in here oops we got more coming in perfect so they're not complaining anymore always nice so i always forgot that this, uh, when you level up, it kills your speed. I forgot that that's a thing too. Oh, got a junctions. We're gonna make sure that that is still met and that that is still met. We'll put a stop sign right there. So that is a priority road on Main Avenue. Keep that traffic flowing from the highway because, man. <laughs> Uh, so we're meeting. Perfect. That's all good. And eventually we'll upgrade all these roads and everything too, but. Ooh, what do we got there? Go Nuts Donuts. Worthy Village. Perfect. So that gives us districts, policies, a second loan, district specializations, service services policies, a fire department, police department, unique buildings. So these are going to be the main three that I have to focus on now. And then I think what I'll do is I'll split like different districts up. I'll do like an industrial zone here. I'll do like, I don't know, Lunaport East, Lunaport West. <laughs> that should work. Uh, so they don't have water. Let's get that taken care of first. And electric should be good. Should probably add another windmill now that we have a loan here. All right, so we got that. Let's go to fire coverage first. So that, maybe I'll throw that right here. I like to put my first firehouse closer to the industrial zone. And since we have all these trees here, that's high risk. Don't want that happening. Not on my watch. Still got some industrial, or God, I keep saying that. Got some uh, residential needs that need to be met. I think from here, I'm gonna branch out and not do so many grid-like patterns. Maybe I'll branch out and like, maybe try and protect this zone, use this as my forestry. Maybe I'll like do a cool little design right there. Or maybe I'll like curve this over because I do want some waterfront property. I think that would be nice. Electricity is good for now. I do have it mostly disabled on the budget. We don't need to bump that up to 100% quite yet. Because we're maintaining, which is fine. And this is also letting us build up more money. Residential's creeping up again. So, let me build this police station first. Let's put that squeeze that in right there once we get to that point oh it's it's getting bad oh no i got to demolish that i'm so sorry so that'll let me get a little more residential in here and here make sure our water and electricity are taken care of look at that that's all good electricity is fine for now. Do need a police department. I'm gonna wait and put that right here once I have enough money. Should be close. Oh yeah, we're good. Just to get that need met for now. Or do we just put that right here? I think I'm gonna put it right there. Right in the center of the... Oh, we got water needs. Tiny town, perfect. 
parks and plazas, industry areas, fishing, level two, football. Yes, I love football. And a bunch of other policies and landscapings available now. Awesome. All right, let's extend that out. I didn't know that they were not dealing or not having any water there. Whoops. All right, so water's still good. Electricity could be better. Let's do another eight. And then we might even be able to bump that budget back up. Couldn't hurt. So bump that back to 100. Full power. We're still making a decent amount of money, so really not worried. Okay, so power-wise, let's do this. Connect this here. That way I can refund these. Come on, connect. Perfect. And extend this grid out a little more. Get some more industrial up in here. Residential. Um, kind of want to just keep this as commercial, to be honest. I don't like having too much residential near my industrial. Uh, we did unlock some landscaping, so for the noise. Ooh, that's a basketball court. Props, here we go. So we don't have any trees quite yet. Unless that's over here. That's landscaping. Perfect. Okay, that's where it is. Again, new to this. <laughs> so let's place a couple trees. Like, here you go. Compliments of the city. Let's add some trees to that person's yard. That'll help with some of the noise, I think. Perfect. Good deal. Elementary school is good. Uh, Health care is fine. We don't have death care quite yet. I think that'll be the next uh, milestone. Fire's good. Police is good. Education's good. We are killing it. We need a high school soon. Maybe I'll just uh, keep zoning some residential here until we get that. Let me see, actually. What is zoned over here? Let's do a little more commercial. Then we can do this. Just extend out this way. Or, no, let's extend out. Let's go just a little bit. Not too much. Just enough to, you know, get a couple more cells, expand our city a little bit. And then all residential. And maybe I'll do like, maybe I'll dezone like right here and right here. So they can make sure they have an extra Denny's on the corner. <laughs> uh, so it's covered by our water right now, so I don't have to add more. That's nice. Uh, electricity still doing okay. I think we're all right there for now. I do kind of want to save up for a high school. And maybe I can start planning on where I want that. Maybe right there, actually. So I'll dezone this. Put a high school there. Do two industrial schools right next to each other. Right on the corners. Can't beat that. Not ideal, but also it's a game. <laughs> don't want our citizens to be too uncomfortable but I think they'll survive we're doing pretty good happiness is good population's growing I think we're doing great let's check and see what these developments are doing oh there's a big bite alright oh I hear a police car where are you going where are you going ah oh, I missed him a donut truck there he is alright let's see what the police are doing they're arresting somebody. Oh, they just drove through two cars. Get them. Going into this duplex. They came out of both sides. What was going on in there? Cozy way. There's a front for something. Wow. <laughs> oh, what's this? Koi fish. Oh, that looks beautiful. 
the law accounting so i got two buildings right next to each, or like in one thing that's awesome little grocery shopping here pop soda it's it's pop i'm from the midwest <laughs> where it's pop don't call it soda <laughs> it's fine but it's pop uh let's go and look and see what our zoning is looking like here now so let's do another section here i think from here is where i'm going to start kind of branching up from this grid pattern it's getting a little boring so do that for our commercial needs. Do a little more residential right there. Maybe I'll stop on this little corner. Do another little commercial like, I don't know, coffee shop or whatever ends up getting built there. We'll see. Um, electricity's in the yellow now. I do need a high school. Let's speed this up a little bit. See what happens build a high school yeah right behind these little shops here right there should be good once we get to that point I don't want to just sit here and wait for it so <laughs> um, everything's kind of meeting itself by filling in with the spots I have zoned already which is really nice oh look at that 2023 we're almost a year into this build already that's funny I like how that speeds up like this little collector road here because I think we might even be able to branch out ooh there we go so maybe I'll branch out and do like a curved road and then that way we can get our residential uh, waterfront property that I was talking about Maybe we can do that in a second. Once we built the high school, I'm gonna do that first. So that needs taken care of. High school, boom. There you go. That covers everybody in the town. Nice. Okay. I was gonna let the budget build up a little bit more. High school's built. Let's zone the rest of this commercial so everything can kind of fit in. The rest of the needs there. Um power is okay but not good or one one unit over so maybe what we can do I've actually never done this get a loan for 20,000 sure we'll do that that way we can at least take care of the power issue and hmm look i got all the spots where eight was a thing oh i can do it right there perfect and i could get sort of that rock electricity's better water's still good i do have to connect this little area here there we go covers the rest of the so maybe I do need to start looking into that coal power plant uh, so let's do that let's see that's 19,000 we're at 17 we're gonna let that sit for a little bit just to have some extra backup power I know it's gonna be good to have so we'll just see that right next to the landfill I think or maybe even a great I don't know we'll see yeah next to the landfill is fine We'll get incinerators eventually. I think those are four. Maybe we'll just do that and put the incinerator right next to it once we get to that point. Perfect. So we got our coal power plant. That's going to exceed a lot of our power needs for a little bit. So we don't have to think about it. We don't have to keep dropping six grand on windmills, even though they are pretty. <laughs> All right. So we do have a high industrial and high commercial demand right now so what we're going to do with that we're going to finally curb this road using our curb road tool here just go the same distance and maybe we'll just do that and then that way it's still straight so we can do let's see 
Perfect. And then this way we'll kind of work into getting our different networks going for the zoning. So still do the 200. This one can still be straight. Let's do that. Cover you. Actually. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Didn't catch it quick enough. That is okay. We need both right now, so. Nope. Don't want that. Don't want that. Residential. Perfect. So water is still in need here. All right, perfect. So now it's kind of where we're at with uh, maybe the curved road. I'm thinking I want to do like something like that. And that way I can get my own little zone in here. Straighten this one out and then do something like that. Just to give it a little bit of a different look. I'm gonna zone all of this residential here and then all residential here. I do like to keep commercial. Oh, nope, don't want that, don't want that, nope. It's all residential. Expand our water out. Oh, so here's where I'm gonna take all of my snaps off. Little trick I learned here so I can curve it to the road a little better. Oh, look at that, Boomtown. We got ore industry, we got transport unlocked, the ferries, bus, post service, awesome. I think that is going to be a good spot right now to end this episode. So let me know what you thought. Uh, still, like I said, still pretty new to this game. So still learning a lot, but kind of branching off from the, the grid pattern already right now. Islands are pretty fun. I can't wait to see like what the other islands have, especially that one. I want to know what that is. So we'll get there. Uh, let me know what you thought. And if you want to see more, just subscribe to the channel. I'll probably do another episode here pretty soon. Just expand this out. Like I said, I want to keep this going. It's a fun game, and I've never really done anything with it, so I'm kind of feeling like this is the good way to go. <laughs> so if you want to see more, if you have any suggestions, if something you saw, that if you've been playing this for a while, you looked at it and went, ah, oh, Peeves, why'd you do that? Let me know. <laughs> uh, so thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode of Lunaport Islands.